What have we here? Tell me what you want. Melby and Howard were lost in Kundera. Johnson was attacked by this abomination, and Murphy put a bullet in him as his screams were raising the dead. At least they look and smell bloody dead, but how can I need be? information about the tunnels from the war. Specifically, which one goes to Henderson? There aren't any tunnels. Now get out of here. I am a scientist, not a tour guide. Stop wasting my time. Marcus Villa told me about the tunnels. I know he was your research partner. You saw Marcus? I haven't seen him in ages. He was brilliant, you know, in his own way. But let us just say there are reasons we no longer work together. Very good reasons. Yeah, he wanted to eat me. The guy was certifiable. He wanted to eat you? That doesn't make any sense. Sure, he went to live with the natives, but they've always struck me as peaceful people. Perhaps he was worse off than I even imagined. But that does not explain why he would resort to cannibalism. Yeah, well, he wanted some flesh from someone who's immune to the plague. Had some crazy ideas about using it to make a cure. Wait a moment, are you saying that you are immune to what's happening out there? And then, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Yeah, I have a map that you should find helpful. But if you want it, you need to help me with something. I have been researching this disease for many years now. Kuru has been endemic to the indigenous people here for centuries. This outbreak is one of many, and each incident is a little different, as is the trigger that reawakens the plague. It's truly remarkable how this prion disease adapts on changes, how it mutates when exposed to external factors. The speed at which it affects the host organism. Astonishing, really. But science can be unpredictable. Dangerous even, you understand? Yeah. So is that why there are all those bodies in the greenhouse? A truly unfortunate accident. One that was largely the fault of my assistance. I assure you, I had very little to do with what happened out there. You know, I'm still waiting to hear what you want from me. I am merely trying to make it clear that I am not an evil man. In times such as these, it is easy for men of science to be blamed, persecuted for their actions. Especially by people who possess lesser minds. My four assistants were in possession of some reagents, chemicals, contained within vials. Unfortunately, those vials are out there in the greenhouse. Bring them to me, and I will give you the map. Do we have a deal? Yep. You will probably need to kill all four of them in order to secure the vials. But there is no saving them now. You will be putting them out of their misery. What's done is done. Just have the map ready to go. I cannot conduct my tests without the reagents.
I'll take that reagent. Next, there's one.
I'll take that reagent. something else. That's the last one. Time to haul ass. I hope it's something good. Good, good. Now I can conduct my tests. I only require a sample of your blood. Oh, you can't be serious. Give me the map before this turns ugly! I am doing a poor job of explaining myself. You are clearly immune, that much is certain. But that does not mean that you are safe. There is a strong possibility that the virus is in your body. And if it is, it could mutate. And depending on how it mutates, you could be in grave danger. All I need is a small blood sample. I run a simple test and then we'll know. This is for your own good. Here, do it. Okay, you will feel a little prick. Nothing to worry about. Do this task for me and the map is yours. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? If I had a little sweet, I would give you one. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ on a pony. I was merely trying to lighten the mood. Oh, it will only take a moment to prepare the sample. Please be patient. This is truly astonishing. got your results. You are completely resistant to the virus. I already knew that, Kessler. No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be very careful. Any contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. What are you talking about? 
Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II, and later they were used to store chemical weapons. In the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak, and some of those chemicals worked their way into the water. The Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up, but they weren't successful. When they went into the tunnels, one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map, as I promised. I cannot stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do, use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid prolonged exposure to the chemicals. I wish you best of luck. Hapes. Hello, answer me. Thank God I was starting to worry. Did you get the map from Kessler? Yeah, I got it. Tunnels might be a problem, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? I'm gonna find the entrance to the tunnels. We must investigate it. For your What's own this, good. then? For the good of mankind. 